Wood and those of you that are still up north, today is video number 31 and uh, March 6th, late in the afternoon on a Friday. A little windy, but it's warmed up in the 70s. A little cold front, they say, coming through this weekend, but uh, we're not complaining whatsoever. So we're outside the uh, fitness, wellness, pro shop facility. Of course, you can see what's occurred this week is uh, paving has come on in here. Um, and of course, this will all be landscaped uh, in here, landscaping back into here, landscaping back into, uh, into here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. What you can notice also is the, uh, uh, the gutters have been, uh, have been put up and then the other architectural features have been put up here, which is the uh, entryway into the uh, fitness and the, uh, the wellness center. Uh, we're moving along really nice. Inside, there's a lot of stuff that uh, a lot of detail work is being done now. Uh, inside the uh, inside the building. So come on in. Let me show you. So as I mentioned to you last week, the floor has been all put in, and um, what's happened this week is all of the baseboard has been put in. And, uh, and all of the crown molding has been, uh, has been put in as well. And uh, as you can see, they're getting ready for the final interior uh, painting to uh, take place. So that's all done, all the final details. The, um, in the bathrooms, the restrooms are going in, the flooring is all in in the, uh, in the restrooms. And they're actually tiling now in, um, in the restrooms as well back over in here and then over in the uh, aerobics room all the baseboard has been put in and then all the crown molding has been put in as, uh, as well so that's moving along very nicely all of the baseboard has been put into the pro shop and then all the crown molding and as you can see they're sanding and, and, and doing all the, the prep work for um, uh, for the final paint job which I believe is scheduled for, uh, for next week for the painters to come on in. So that's really good. But before you go, we'll take one quick shot at the, at the restrooms so you can take a look at that. This is probably better because it's got light in here. So as you can see, the flooring has been put into, uh, into the bathrooms and the, uh, and the tile has uh, been put in. And then, of course, we did the crown molding in, uh, here up here in the, in the restrooms as well. Um, and, of course, the, uh, the baseboards will be put in uh, rather soon. And then um, this particular week, the transformer was put in um, in the back by FPNL for, uh, for this building as well. So that transformer is, is, is already in place um, in there. So not that I want to end this segment in the bathroom. But that's all I've got. The clubhouse is next. Where do you see that? Welcome back, Royal Wood. As you can tell, we're outside the front of the clubhouse. It's been the, um, the talk all week, and it's wonderful, wonderful talk. You finally are getting the vision of, uh, of what the clubhouse is going to look like, at least from, uh, from the roadway, and what the ultimate product and your ultimate investment is going to take a look at. So the uh, clubhouse has been Call in the, what they call in the industry, all dried in, and now uh, obviously you can see they're putting the uh, the sealant uh, on the uh, on the roofway. So uh, so that's kind of where we are uh, on that. Inside, we'll take a look. A lot of stuff already to work on uh, inside. So we'll be right back. Welcome back. We're out uh, we're outside in the uh, indoor outdoor uh, bar area. So what you see going on here is the um, is the framing for um, for the interior roof. Um, the trusses are basically um, ten feet six inches. The roof will be at uh, nine feet in uh, in this space um, all the way through. So, so that's what's occurring um, here, and uh, uh, this is all the waterproofing. That red is the waterproofing that's been put all the way around. Here you can see they're already putting in the uh, the window panes um, for the uh, for the windows that will be coming in 
um, in here. And that is, it's very, very noticeable. You can see it's technically what we call all dried in. All the roof has been uh, what they call dry in the business. And um, what you can see here is you're already putting in the, um, um, all the AC duct work has, has commenced putting it up and um, there. As I mentioned last week, the bar has been all uh, all concreted, uh, all concreted in. Once the it's all dried in, they actually will start putting up um, drywall uh, next week as uh, as well. So um, and then I'll share this with you. What we'll do here is this will all be drywalled in here. All right. And then we'll allow the natural, you know, the natural daylight to be able to come on down into the dining room. Um, so, uh, so that'll be that'll be nice that uh, we can do that. And then we'll be doing that for the uh, for the bar area uh, as well. So it's uh, and you can really see the defined space as we said. This is basically the dining room right here. All the way back through here is all dining room space. Um, obviously, service stations go up against the wall like they always have, but uh, a really good clear space. Um, uh, we don't have to move around stuff. It's, it's really, really going to be nice. So, looking forward to um, to that. So, that's the progress this week. All is going well. Final notes, the annual meeting was this past Monday. Um, had roughly well, 160 members in attendance. Obviously the quorum was, uh, was met um, as well. So if you missed the President's report, you can find that um, on the website. And you know on last Friday's video, we made the attachment of the, uh, of the President's report. And we sat two new board members um, as well. Fred Palmer from Andover, uh, Mike Fennelly retiring. And then Pam Davis from uh, Amberley. So those are two new board members that have seated. So with that being said, <laughs> have a great weekend, everybody, and uh, health to all.